Hi again everyone! So today I'm going to be reading When Worry Takes Hold. It is written by Liz Kask and illustrated by In Song Nam. And I really enjoyed this book and I think it's really relevant to what's going on right now because I'm a little bit worried and maybe you're feeling a little bit worried about everything going on. And this book helps remind me of how to overcome that worry and it gives you a little a couple of techniques and things to think about when you're feeling really overwhelmed and consumed by by worrying thoughts so let's jump in when worry takes hold so yeah let's follow our main character and see how she deals with her worry it says, for Amelia, the bravest girl I know, and to Rice and Jim for cheering me on with laughter and love. That's from the author, Liz Hask. And our illustrator, in Song Nam, says to John, as he enters a bigger world, and to my family who always believe that I can, that I can, and thanks to God for guiding me. One night, just after the lights went out, Worry snuck into Maya's mind. Worry grew bigger and bigger until there was no space left for anything else. Just darkness and fear. Is it a school day? Maya mumbled. You're going to walk me to class, right? Maya felt nervous because worry clouded everything that was happy and safe. Wherever Maya went, worry came along to the playground. Will you stay with me? What if I fall and get hurt? At a friend's birthday party. What if I don't know anyone? When will you come pick me up? In the car. What if we get lost? Are you sure you know where you're going? It seemed as if worry was there to stay. The more Maya feared, the more mighty worry became. Soon, bedtime turned into dread time. Maya clutched onto her parents' arms and begged them to stay. Being left alone with her thoughts meant being left alone with worry. Before long, Maya wasn't the only one filled with worry. Her parents' smiles faded as they began worrying about her worry. Why is she so worried, they wondered. What can we do, they asked her. Then, one day, Maya met Worry's enemy, Courage. Courage came in the form of a calming breath. Maya realized that if she put her hands on her belly and focused her breath, she could be brave. So instead of clinging to her fears, she called on courage. Taking deep, calming breaths helped her mind settle. Maya noticed that for the first time in a long time, she wasn't thinking, what if? Breathing gave Maya power. And so, rather than trying to push worry away, she greeted it. Hello, worry, she whispered when the darkness tried to fill her mind.
thanks to courage, Maya began to break free from worry's hold. At the playground, I am safe. I'll be okay. At her friend's birthday party, my friends are here. See you later. In the car, I know he will get us there safely. At bedtime, Maya didn't feel dread when the lights went out. Courage wrapped its arms around her as she said, I think I would like to walk to class by myself tomorrow. Her parents started to notice a change. Was she worrying less, they wondered? What a relief, they whispered. The more courage Maya had, the less powerful worry felt. I am brave. I can do this, she said, as she began to walk on her own. With each brave step, each deep breath, Maya finally broke free. And so it was that everywhere Maya went, courage came along. Soon, Maya and everyone around her were full of laughter and smiles. Although worry lost its hold, it didn't disappear completely. Every now and then, worry returned. But Maya didn't mind, because she knew that sometimes worry was there to keep her safe. And besides, courage was just a deep breath away. The end. And this last page, it gives us instructions on how to find your courage and how to breathe like Maya. So the steps are to put your hands on your belly, hold your back straight, take a deep breath in through your nose. Imagine you are trying to fill your entire body all the way to your toes. Slowly let the air out through your nose. Notice the way your breath feels as it leaves your body. With each breath, imagine courage coming out and worry. Courage coming in and worry going out. If your mind wanders, this is normal. Just bring your focus back to your breath. One way that I like to keep my focus on my breath is to imagine that there's a little balloon that is expanding when I breathe in and deflating when I breathe out. And that makes it easier sometimes. And I love the back of this book. It says, when worry takes hold, courage is always just a deep breath away. Yeah. And breathing is one of the many anchors to um, mindfulness and bringing your body back to center and being calm. So try your best today or this week when you're feeling worried or upset or angry to take a breath and see how that, notice what that does for you and your body.